from South University, and my presentation is categorized with pathological feature. Uh, at the very beginning, I want to talk about the background of the motivation. In our previous work, we are working on the uh, geospatial information, uh, and you can uh, divide it into more than 200 clinical information groups, and we combine this geospatial information with health care and population data and try to generate a categorized tree map. So uh, in this, uh, this part, I, I want to talk about the categorized. So uh, at the first, uh, we extract the central part of the original map and import it into our system and generate the size of the node and uh, get the categorized. So it, you can still see some similarity between the original map and the categorized but also you can see some errors. So we were thinking, what, what can we do to increase the recognizability <coughs> of the catalog and try to reduce the layout error? So we go back to the uh, original map and thinking, can we add some, some other geospatial information, like the rivers? Uh, this is an example of the three longest river in the UK. And uh, we're thinking if we introduce this geospatial information in the map, uh, we can use it as a constraint for, uh, for, for the category, and no uh, regions can cross this, this uh, feature. So in that case, we think we can increase the recognizability of the category and reduce the error. So we take the most famous river, the Times River, as our starting point. Uh, to convert the real geospatial information into our system, we convert it uh, by introducing topological feature. Uh, we refer to the, uh, the topological feature to the uh, some feature that separates the unit uh, into some distinct regions. Uh, we hope hope that that can help to reduce the layout error. Here is our project pipeline. In the pre-processing -pre session, we first impose the river, and then we impose the CCG data. So then we do the river definition and the approximation uh, part manually. Uh, after we uh, define the river, we can go to the runtime session, and first we compute the central point, and then we try to increase the node size, as, as I described before. Then we run the overlap to remove an algorithm to re remove the overlap between the region. Uh, in this part, we test for the uh, river intersection whether the regions cross the river or not. If, if uh, there is a river intersection, we using our topological preservation algorithm try to push in the reading back to its original side. Uh, so we go, go back to the overlap to re remove section and uh, go uh, run this loop several times until there is no river intersection. And then we go to the increase the uh, reading size. When the reading size reach, the, reach to the max or reach the boundary of the map, we finish the platform rendering. So here's the uh, description 
of how we do the river definition and the approximation. Here is uh, uh, a part of the Times River. And uh, you can see the river sometimes flow on the boundary of the uh, two regions, and sometimes go uh, just inside one region. So we use a pair of nodes on both sides of the river. Uh, in that case, we use the ZOHC and ZOHC. Uh, X as a personal on both sides of the river to define uh, one small segment of the river. So in this case, the first first one is this two node, and if the river flow inside the uh, region, we still can find some uh, find the two node on both sides of the river. In this case, is 071 and OAP uh, in some. Some extreme situation if the uh, river flow directly on the central part of this region, we will find the nearest neighbor and uh, generate the pairs of nodes. So after this generation, we can find a, a long list of the pairs of nodes and we import it into our system like this. So you can see here is several pairs of nodes. We cry, uh, connect uh, each type of node and using the central pipe generates a uh, typological feature river. So it, as you can see, it's a green line. Also, we'll talk about uh, how we test the river intersection. Suppose at the, uh, the very beginning of the region sits on its original side of the river. So it's can only uh, cross the river by pushing by the overlap to removal algorithm or by increasing the size. So every time I only test for the current position and the previous position. So <clears throat> we connect the line between these two central points. If uh, this line has some inter intersection with uh, one segment of the river polygon, we uh, define it as a River intersection. So our algorithm will push this current region back to its previous uh, position, which is the last point that the, the region never uh, didn't cross the river. So in this time, uh, I go the reverse direction, and we I push this region back to the previous position. But sometimes, if if this we can have some other neighbors uh, which didn't cross the river, so they, this ribbon didn't move. So by overlap removal algorithm, uh, if I just pu push this region back, it might uh, push push by this these other regions back to this position. So it's it's well uh, run this loop several times, uh, but doesn't re increase anything. So. In that case, we we will pushing all its uh, neighbors in that pushing ways uh, to the same reverse direction as same amount. So here is some uh, result generated by by the our algorithm. Here is the uh, original pathogram. Uh, didn't using our typologic preservation algorithm. So you can see that there are some sort of errors here. We indicated by cross the region. And uh, this image is using our typologic preservation algorithm. And you can see there is no error. Here is another result. In this case, all the size of the region is uh, map to the population uh, still without uh, our typological preservation algorithm. You can see there are several errors here. But in this, this case, there is no error. Uh, we also try to uh, increase uh, uh, the boundary of the river by setting, setting the river width. River width. So in this case, we're not just testing for the river intersection, 
we test whether the central points, the distance between the central points and the river, if the uh, distance is smaller than uh, user setting river width, this will be pushed. Uh, here is some demo videos. Uh, first, uh, we <coughs> talk about how we do the river definition and the approximation. And f uh, first, we input, input the sh river shape file into the CSG shape file. <coughs> by QGIS. <coughs> you can see we can, from the east, we can find the pairs of nodes. By uh, when we generate the uh, amount of the uh, parcel or not, we import it into our system. You can see the green line is uh, uh, connect uh, parcel or not, and uh, each central point is connected to generate the uh, topology retrieval feature. Here is the uniform size catagram without hypothesis feature. You can see there is several arrows here. And this can be using for a topologic preservation algorithm. Try to push. Uh, you can see the right line is trying to push in its neighbor to the reverse direction. Sometimes it gets stuck. So. In this case, uh, the size of regions map to the population. And first, uh, there is no topological preservation algorithm. So you can see there are some errors there. <coughs> With the topology preservation algorithm, and says the red line is pushing this linear, and there's no errors. <coughs> Also, we can color the map to some house, house car values to indicate something. Uh, you can select uh, any uh, house car values you want. Then we can size the river S as I described before. 
So in this time, to uh, make this a little bit easier, all the pu pushing direction is just up and down. So if the most uh, pushing direction is straight. The flow to regions didn't pu pu uh, be pushed not because it's cross the river, because it's the distance is less than the river setting. So in the future work, we'll think about how to investigate more topological features, uh, for example, as uh, more than one topological feature. And uh, second, we we'll think about, to some users, uh, study uh, about how, how that, that topological feature helps the user to increase the recognizability of the catagram, or reduce the catagram errors, and then we think about how we can combine with more house car data, that's just one uh, house car brand. So, thank you for your attention. Any questions? So, you tried with the other rivers at the beginning, you had sort of you had three rivers there. Um, yeah, I can try some other rewards as well as I can uh, do the same uh, reward definition process. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's similar with the times. I didn't try this is uh, doable. Any what about um, hexagonal shapes? So the ONS uses uh, hexagons for their so, so you've, you've used squares as your yeah, yeah. shape file, so ONS uses hexagons so you can get a space build representation. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I use some other, uh, like rectangles or something, mm -hmm. this will fail, uh, fit the uh, space most. Uh, actually, we, in our previous work, we think about how we, if you use the same, shape, same size shape file, mm -hmm. we can uh, convert this to face uh, uh, screen ratio. Uh, we, we have some work in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's this to fill the, the screen a little bit better. But in this work, we uh, just focus on the typology feature, mm -hmm. so we don't quite just working about the famous uh, space yeah. part.